We are disappointed. You were expected days ago, Destro. I designed the Cobra Temple to guarantee us secrecy and security. Now, what have you brought me? Mass is ready. Mass device my foot. You've wasted millions of hard stolen dollars, you titanium faced turkey. This is but the first in a series of demonstrations of the awesome power of Cobra. Beg your leaders to surrender to Cobra at once. You have 24 hours. Cobra! It was I who developed the mass device. I who made you aware of its potential. You! Without my money and organization, you'd be out in the rain watching your face rust. New York still stands. My threat has been proven empty. Our future rests with Destro now. Unless he brings back the meteorite, our mass device will be useless. <laughs> Destro, even you must see that with the meteorite particles in our possession, we are invincible. Even you must see that. Shall see how G.I. Joe likes the bite of a sneak's fangs. Cobra! Cobra! You were saying something about fighting fearlessly, rust breath? You may have hurt me temporarily, but I also have you. <laughs> No purpose would be served by keeping him in jail when and if he reforms, young man. You wouldn't want to deprive me of my constitutional rights, would you, musclehead? <laughs> be careful, Zartan! I am too valuable to end up splattered all over some cypress tree! Ah! We have the laser core, we control the forces of nature, and we have humble G.I. Joe! We now stand ready to rule the world! <laughs> the raw strength of nature itself, against which there is no defense! Watch! Watch as I unleash the sea and sky to do my bidding! There could be dire consequences! There will be dire consequences for you if you do not obey my orders! The Lightning Destro! Now! All of you, I wish to plan in private. Ah! Thunderheads, imbeciles! Why are great men always surrounded by lesser beings? Zartan must be dealt with! He has been. I forgive him. Now stop sputtering like a wet toaster and get busy now! G.I. Joe was ready for us! How dare they anticipate my strategy! <laughs> retreat! 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 What those pathetic fools don't know is that the acquisition of Space Station Delta is but the first step in my creation of the most powerful weapon in history. The Pyramid of Darkness. I am pleased with your rapid production of the control cubes. The fourth and final cube must be finished at once so we do not lose the strategic advantage to our enemy, G.I. Joe. Now, back to work! Your sentimental expedition can jeopardize their action. May I remind you, Extensive Enterprise has financed this operation 100%. Why go? Begin your mission of mercy at once. Pyramid of Darkness is complete at last. Now, no electrical energy source can function unless I permit it. I hold the destiny of the world in my hands. This is skullduggery! If you wish to remain part of our triumph, you will cooperate fully. Or we shall simply remove you entirely. Understand? Understand? Why, of course, noble lads. I see you both clearly, and I am stunned! Hey, she had something in her eye, Cobra Commander. My 
Yes, she did. Now stop going gaga and establish a low altitude pyramid of darkness at once. Wait until the Cobra Dragon is finished with them. Then clean up the mess. I'll be inside writing my victory speech. <laughs> Zartan, is your plan ready? Of course, Cobra Commander. You'd entrust such a vital mission to him. Stop! We have no time to waste. No rubble, no untidy after effects. Nothing remains but memories. To avert this tragedy, you need only surrender control of your nation to Cobra. And now... Witness the final phase of Cobra's plan to stop the world! <laughs> Alright, let's go, Chrome Cheeks. There's a nice dank cell waiting for... Fool, did you truly think me defenseless? <laughs> you pay for your stupidity. I apologize for our somewhat demanding hospitality, but I so long wanted to meet you. Who are you? I am the Supreme Commander of Cobra. You may bow if you wish. Cobra Commander, our scanners show three G.I. Joe dragonflies moving toward this area. Predictable. Prepare to greet them. Warmly. Scientist. Release. The Hunter! Hey, what about his head start? You said he had five minutes! Yes. Odd, isn't it, how time flies? <laughs> you no doubt know what I have chosen to speak with you about. Get on with it, Cobra Commander. I will be terse, Flint. If I do not receive sixty billion dollars, you will never see the scientists again. Your acting couldn't get you onto a soap opera. Silence! His stunning performance is well worth the money. It will buy me the greatest luxury there is. Revenge! <laughs> get up, you blundering bunch of idiots! I gotta send you all to the scrap iron heap! What did you say? Uh, an interview! I want to interview you! This is your fault, Destro. I would now have the fuel in my possession if not for your bumbling. You're foaming at the mouth again, Cobra Commander. I wasn't even there. You should have been, Destro. You should have been. Cobra's prisoner, and your friends will soon join you. In a few minutes, they'll be too busy to notice, Destro. Bah! Shoddy workmanship. If you bought it from me... No one invited you on this mission, Destro. I don't know what your game is, Cobra, but G.I. Joe will be on your tail faster than... My game is to make you and all your friends suffer. Before I crush G.I. Joe out of existence! Lift off! They got away. Yeah, but they'll be back. My Phantom Brigade is winning! <laughs> Perhaps I have no need of living. At all. Not even you, Baroness. The night is not yet over, Commander. I've located the captured fire bat. It's Commander. Your hood. Put it on. <laughs> it takes a strong stomach to watch me eat, doesn't it, Destro? Excellent. Sartan sent back the fire bat and the Joe. Okay, landlubbers. My prisoners! Take him inside. 
You saved me. I saved a customer. The Joes have found us. Man your flight parts. Lead the assault forces. Where are you going, Commander? I shall be directing the battle from a remote location. Ah, the Joes have taken control. We must escape. Surely you would not concede failure so soon. I would concede your failure, you arrogant fool. <laughs> the Joes are such fools. They thought we were after a few million grubby American dollars, when what we want is so much grander. He's gone over the edge. Pity. Help me, you idiot! Need some assistance, Commander? I need no one's assistance, least of all yours, Destro. I am the new fire department. If they don't pay, I start fires. <laughs> How much do you think they will pay? Fire insurance is expensive, Destro. I would say billions, little more. Now! What the? Have you got a better idea? Yes! We find the helicopter and I fly it to safety. I will immediately dispatch troops to rescue you. Oh, even I cannot swallow that one. Whose side are you on? Look at us! It is a pity we could not combine our forces. Imagine the power we could have. You think so? We almost got greased by toy soldiers. I've had enough of your sarcasm. A laser guidance system will soon be mine. Cobra Commander, I demand to know your plan. Our agreement specifies that I supply all your weaponry. I did not violate our agreement, Destro. You're as mad as Destro. You should run in prison with him. You will not rescue him? He got himself into this. He can get himself out. You two! Now get out! Get out! Hope we're not late, folks! Not at all! Your timing is superb! How do snakes may be small, but their poison is quite sufficient! <laughs> <laughs> then attack now, before they're ready for us! We cannot! One wrong shot and all the crystals will explode! I don't want excuses, I want results! Will you win? Say no! I want to see what happens! No! I gave the job to Zartan. He's much more qualified than you in this area. Oh, yes. One more thing, Destro. If I were you, I'd watch that attitude. We're not from this world! Do you think me stupid enough to believe such poppycock? For that insult, you will pay! With your lives! What's that noise? The Geiger counter, Commander. He's brought in something radioactive. That's impossible! It's tracking paint. You have been followed! Clear the lab immediately! Prepare for attack! British Museum theft is connected to the Jackal's Bane. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Let me show you the quickest exit! <laughs> Is my hair okay? Even Cobra can't ruin your looks. Morons! I have morons on my payroll! Throw me a rope, Commander! Why should I, Destro? Your jealousy jeopardized our mission! If you care to remain afloat, you will throw a rope immediately! You can't win, Commander! The people will fight back! Then the people will be destroyed! A 
and the whole world will play G.I. Joe. <laughs> you know I never bluff, Flint. Forget me, soldier boy! Drop this creep! Have a nice day, Flint. There is gold in this tomb, enough to buy arms for a small nation or a large terrorist group. Talk is cheap. But arms are not. That is why you are going to lead me to the treasure. No! No! I won't let this go any further! Quiet, Doctor, before I remember that your usefulness is nearly at an end! I have constructed a new weapon capable of killing off all the Earth's vegetation. If you do not want this disaster to occur, you must agree to make me your supreme leader. Hello, Dusty. Guess who? Cobra Commander. Smart. Very smart. The warning about the ambush was most helpful. But now I insist you provide the secret of the new Joe armor. What about me? I can anticipate the Joe's next... You will stay here. I will lead the assault. Don't you trust me anymore? <laughs> As Stalin said, trust no one. Not even yourself. <laughs> Bring him to the command center. I want to see him squirm. As we watch the destruction of G.I. Joe! <laughs> when did you first discover you wanted to rule the world? Cobra Commander! I was six when I realized I could run society better than the morons who were in charge. We possess the ultimate weapon of control. People trust television. It's their friend. They believe what television tells them about the news, the weather, or G.I. Joe. What do you mean I broke? Joe Team's highly successful raid has wiped out your assets. Consequently, your creditors are demanding payment on all outstanding debts. I will not tolerate this. Oh? Ah, help! I can't let go! Commander, we have 30 seconds. Yes, we must be going. Excuse me, sir, but we are now into overtime and the union rules specifically state... The only union they should be concerned with is the one between their heads and their shoulders. Uh, yes, sir. Okay, I guess you weren't bluffing. Let's smear the blighter! No! You'll ignite the explosive! Maybe this is even the eyes a little.